What's up, everybody? James Showers here. Cleanest name in the biz. I'm sure you guys already know that. You're on the Nomadic Ink channel. I welcome you. Uh, I'm going to do this video. Saturday, uh, I got off work and um, was going to go go out for like an adventure for the weekend. We went to Deception Pass, actually. Um, we were just going to skip the gym and just head on out. And uh, my battery was dead. So I uh, had to go and deal with all this stuff. Change the battery, get it all fixed up, right? And then we decide we're going to leave. And then we're coming, uh, we're coming through the city and we're going to go north on I-5 and I'm looking I'm like man there's a there's like a pile up four car pile up out here the roads all closed and everything and we're waiting there forever and I'm looking and I see this like you know yellow structure and I'm like that looks like a crane and I look up in the air and you can see the end of the crane the, the this the top just sticking up and I'm like whoa the crane the crane fell that is crazy I was gonna take video, but you couldn't really see it, and I really didn't know like how. I don't know. I mean, it's been talked about all day today. This is Monday, and uh, that crane was on a Google building for um, a company called GLY, and we subcontract for GLY. Um. That's pretty much it. I think they were trying to take it down during some uh, winds. There's a windstorm at that time. Uh, I thought it was kind of odd because had my battery not been dead, I would have been, it fell at 3.30. And we were going to be leaving right around 3 to head down through the, the city. So, I don't know. It's just interesting. Like, who knows what would have happened differently had that battery been charged and I was able to start the truck and go through. Like, would... Would we have been um, hit by the crane? Would I've just gotten stuck in the traffic? Would I'd seen it? Would I've seen it fall? Like that's some crazy stuff. Uh, it really makes you think. You know who's in the car next to you? You know that crane fell on a, on a car, and there was a mother and a daughter in there, and they just got some uh, injuries. But you know. You don't think about that stuff when you're just driving around. You're just driving around and other people are in their cars and you're in your car. You don't think, okay, this is a student, that's a worker, that's a mom, that's a dad. Um, so it just, it's just kind of interesting just to think that, like, I mean, we're, we're more than just cars driving around on the streets. And we're more than just workers up in the buildings. And, um, I don't know, four people died. One was a student not sure who what the other person was but I, I know that two of them were iron workers and they were probably on that crane taking it apart that's scary man I mean we're all in the trades doesn't matter if you're drywall or steel stud you're iron worker you're you're just a car your carpenter you're just a laborer what whatever you want to classify yourself as we're all in the trades we're all brothers in the trades Okay, union, non-union, it doesn't matter. You know, when somebody dies in an accident like that, it's pretty sad. And those two guys were basically our brothers. And to think that that's like, you know, that's a hazard of our job. And we deal with this dangerous situations all the time. I know a lot of you guys have done some things that are pretty risky some dangerous things that you're like, oh, I'm just gonna get this done. I'm gonna cruise through here. And I don't know if that's exactly what they were doing or not. But uh, I think it was just an accident that just happened and it was pretty sad. There's 60 different cranes in this city right now. And uh, we're the busiest uh, city. Come on in. I'm making this little video. Oh no, we'll just go. So this is the busiest, um, the busiest city in the United States right now. It's crazy. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to touch base on that. And uh, like I said, two two guys, two iron workers died in that um, uh, crane accident. 
and I thought maybe we'd just uh, take a moment of silence for him, huh? All right, that's about it. We're heading to a spot. We're gonna get some sleep. And we're going to work in the morning. I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to comment down below. Send your love out there to those people. Be good to your fellow tradesmen. Maybe even let me know about some of the situations maybe you put yourself in that uh, you're glad that things didn't go south. All right, love you. See you on the next one. Peace.